This video provides you with some basics and background information on vacuum pumps. In many vehicles, vacuum is used for braking assistance and for operating pneumatic equipment. In the brake booster, for example, this increases the force applied by the foot on the brake pedal many times over. Vacuum advance units are used for positioning flaps, valves and other components. Examples of their use are EGR valves, switching the intake manifold, exhaust flaps, turbocharger control, Vacuum pumps are installed in vehicles that do not have sufficient vacuum. Conventional diesel engines are fitted as standard with a vacuum pump, as they have no throttle and cannot therefore generate any vacuum. Vacuum pumps are also increasingly found in petrol engines, where there is insufficient vacuum in the intake manifold after the throttle valve. For these reasons, and due to the rising popularity of diesel in recent years, more pumps are installed today than ever before. In some markets, a diagram of vacuum lines in the engine compartment is now a requirement. Vacuum pumps, as used in motor vehicles, produce a vacuum of approximately 0.7 to 0.9 bar. They must be designed to ensure that sufficient vacuum is available for the brake booster even with frequent braking maneuvers. Vacuum pumps that move a piston or diaphragm back and forth have long proven their worth in the field. A more recent development is vane vacuum pumps with rotary drive. Here, a rotor with one or more vanes forms compartments the size of which varies during the work cycle. Vacuum pumps can be driven by means of cams, tappets, chains, belts or cam discs. Single vane vacuum pumps constitute the latest technology and in many cases are installed on the cylinder head and driven by the camshaft. The aspirated air is generally conveyed into the cylinder head this high-speed intake into a single vane vacuum pump provides some idea of the stresses that occur during operation. Vacuum pumps require lubricating oil for internal sealing, for dissipating heat and for lubrication. Oil is frequently supplied through ducts in the cylinder head or the camshaft. The oil is fed back into the engine along with the exhaust air. In so-called tandem pumps, vacuum pumps are combined with other supply pumps on a common axle. As a fuel vacuum pump, or as here, in combination with an oil pump. Future developments, especially where alternative drive systems are concerned, are increasingly in favor of electric vacuum pumps. They can be switched independently of the vehicle engine and on demand. In hybrid vehicles, they maintain braking assistance when the engine is off. System supplier Pierborg is a leading manufacturer of vacuum pumps for the international automotive industry. As an OE manufacturer, Pierborg boasts decades of expertise in development and manufacture, and its innovative designs have made significant contributions to the state of the art. Service is also a long tradition at Pierborg in the form of technical information on the product.